What's up everyone, my name is Odin Cern and this is Modern Minecraft specifically. Direwolf 21.19 pack and this is episode 11. So today, uh, before we get into setting up our um, A system finally, I'm just testing stuff out and uh, that's where I'm going to build a room separate and put all my auto crafting and everything over there. Um, as you can see, I got some more uh, soapstone from the last episode and um, was able to finish off the floor in here. And it does look pretty, pretty cool for a basic block. Yep, I'm quite happy with that. All right, so what I have done uh, in between episodes is I set up a bunch of stuff ready for Applied Logistics when I get into it. But today I have a list of stuff that I want to get going before I start. And the first one being that I want to get the iron out of here. So, uh, okay, I didn't have the auto eject on. There we go. I'm just going to give this a bit of a a bit of a boost. Fifteen, sixteen. Right, that might be enough. We'll see. Um, I know I've got some gold here, which I smelted up for a, but I'm gonna steal it for now. Uh, another quartz of the redstone, so I could take that from here too. Oh, not silicon. Right. <clears throat> oh, the reactor just kicked on. Yep, yep, yep. We still haven't used one ingot of fuel yet. Not saying this mod is overpowered, but kind of is. All right. Anyway, uh, what I want to do, I want to get this scanner, and I'll explain why more late in a minute. But um, first thing I need to do is make some iron bars, and then we have our scanner. And now we need a couple of these. So I need some clay, some glowstone, and the green dye, which I made for some cactus I got earlier. So some clay and glowstone. Where am I going? Uh, one thing I want to do. I don't really need my jetpack right now. So I'm just going to... Um, uh, this one. Stick it on to fill it up. Because I'm not... I'm, I'm under halfway at the moment. So... Yeah. Stuff. Okay. Got plenty of iron now. Right. Clay... Glowstone. Get back to work. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I need two of these. Um, I'm just going to... I need another gold. Please. Let's just uh, do that now. Okay. Right, let's try this again, shall we? All right. One, two. There we go. So the first one I want is rare ores. Which means I'm going to need a diamond. And I know I'm going to need an ender pearl as well. Okay. Diamond. Uh, ender pearls are still in my chest right now. Ugh. Gross weather. And an ender pearl. I do need to go ender, uh, enderman farming soon. Build up some more ender pearls. I'm going to need them in a AE anyway uh, let's go back over to here so what I want to make is this one and this one yep <clears throat> okay so scanner let's have a look and we're going to uh, stick in these modules and the reason I want this is because I need to find Neverwrite in the not too distant future for AE because um right let me just talk through why I want never right okay applied all right so when you set up the storage you make a disk drive like this but then you go to put um disks into the disk drive to hold the data which is your items and if you like <clears throat> look at these normal storage disks you can see it says yes 4096 bytes which means 
4,096 items, but you can only have 63 separate individual items and you can have up to 4,096 total in that drive. Not very efficient for when you've got a few of lots of different items. So what I'm going to be doing is, I, instead of using them discs, there are add-ons in this pack. Um, I'm going to be making these um, deep item storage discs instead, and that's from AE2 Things. And what that does is workers just open and you can chuck whatever you want in there. So for that, there will be 4,096 items of whatever type. So it doesn't limit you with the different types of items. Unfortunately, the recipe for that requires neverite ingots. So that's why I've got a scanner. It helps you find um, rare ores and when you're deep in the never looking for um, ancient debris, which is where you get um, neverite from. You could scan for the blocks. They only spawn in ones and twos here and there, and you could just dig straight towards them and pick them all up. Sounds good to me. It's going to come in very handy very shortly. So that was my first quality of life stuff I wanted to get out the way, which is done. Okay, next up, I want fortune. <clears throat> That's a glass pane, so I need a couple of diamonds. Let's go upstairs and do this, shall we? I don't want to take too much out of. We're going to need a few stacks of that anyway. Um, and I need some glass panes. That was right. All right. Fortune almost always inevitably involves lapis. Lapis is the fortune thing, apparently. All right. So what we want first is tier one. Uh, I need a stack of redstone, but I've got my pocket storage, which is super handy. So, blank. Thank you. And that's a block of iron. We want two of them. Okay. And uh, we need six blocks of lapis. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is just for tier one. So that's why we need so much lapis. Okay. Let's do that. And then tier two involves a couple of blocks of gold as well. I'm going to have to borrow from downstairs for that. Because I'm not going through and smelted up a whole bunch more gold again. So I need 18. There we go. Uh, let's just make it here. So tier two involves the tier one. Uh, we need one, two of you. And six more of these. Okay. Now we can make you. And then tier three requires two diamonds, which is relatively cheap compared to blocks of gold, in my opinion. But there we go. Diamond, diamond. And then I think we just need lapis. What this means is when I go mining, instead of getting one diamond from a diamond block when I break it, I could get two, three, or four. You know, and it's just going to make everything so much easier for me. So this quality of life thing is definitely a necessity. So um, we just need to make six more blocks of lapis. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go. And now we can just do that. Okay, perfect. The other one I wanted to do was silk touch. And I'll do that upstairs because all the stuff's upstairs for that. Uh, not silk touch, void. Sorry, it's void. So what that means is when I'm mining, I can put items in the void card and it will allow me to not absorb them anymore. It just voids them when you mine them. So like as much as I've got like a lot of space, I've got 22,000 cobblestone. You know what I mean? I've got 12,000 deep slate. I don't really need any more. So I'm just going to avoid it to stop it filling up and overflowing. And that's that, basically. Uh, obsidian, wasn't it? Got a few of them now. So void. Got redstone. Got that. I just need one more of these. So I need two diamonds. It's always with the diamonds. I'm glad I'm going to have fortune now. Uh, one, two... Only five left in there, so I'm going to have to go mine in between episodes. I've got them downstairs, but I don't really want to use them for anything else. What am I doing? 
that one. So I need to make this and then this. Perfect. So we go over to our modification table. We can put that in there, put fortune, put void junk in there. It's perfect. And that is all set up now to do what I want it to do. So um, what I'm going to do is just go one of you, one of you. And that's all I really want to put in there for now. I don't really need to void. I might never act. 3000 never act is going to be enough. Okay. That's fine. Um, so if I click on edit filters and then we put that, that and that in there. And that should be it. But now we've got Fortune 3 on this bad boy as well and um, that's going to be really, really handy. Mining is going to be so much easier now. Not that it wasn't easy before, but much quicker now. Okay, we're full. Good. Jetpack is full. All right, so I can void them off. Perfect. All right, so the next things I definitely need to make are going to be in preparation for my applied energistics room, which is going to mean I need to make some Fluix, which means I need Fluix crystals. Which means I need charge surface quartz, redstone, never quartz. So let's take, what do we think? 15. Oops, didn't mean to do that. The 15. 15. And that. Good. Um, I could throw that on the ground. The rest of this is going to have to stay out of the way for a minute. All right, so what I need to do is charge those. I could automate this, but I can't be bothered right now. I will in the future. I'm just going to charge up these crystals. Should only take a minute. Thanks as always. Approaching Nirvana. Love your music. Love being able to use it in my videos. And these guys literally release a song every few days at the worst, sometimes on a daily basis. And um, it's always good to be able to update that library and add some more music into the mix. But anyway, working on six to go, five. Come on. Oh my God. And one more after this. There we go. Perfect. All right. So we've got 15 of each of them. And what I'm gonna do, this is just to get started. Um, I'm gonna throw these into there, and they should all join together like that in water, and make 30 fluix crystals. All right. So I want these, and now I just need to make some quartz fiber crystals. Okay, I need a bunch of glass. And I can put some stuff away here whilst I'm here. Uh, I might keep the iron on me. Uh, okay, glass panes. Wow, we really haven't got much um, glass there, chief. Ha! Oh, sure, I have more glass than that. All right, well, there's an easy res res there's an easy remedy to that. Sorry to, that you're going to have to sit through this. Uh, what? Oh, okay. It took all of it. <laughs> and put it in here. Okay, let's take a stack of that. Okay, that's fine. We're going to do this. Same as we did before, we're going to start nickel dust, of course. And then, yep, that'll go through there. Okay. <clears throat> yep. 
yeah, this is how you make a lot of glass real quick. Um, also, it doesn't help if you go too much because you can't actually pulverize anything. Whoops. And I probably used a lot of time. Yeah, it's not that bad. All right, 21 glass. I mean, so I just need that Certus now. Have I got any in here? No. Let's just do 12 for now. That should be enough to get us going. Okay. That seems a bit more sensible. Maybe one more. There we go. Flint just acts as a, as a catalyst and gives you a better chance of getting bonus items. That's about it. I think that's about as fast as my power system can handle right now. But we will be uh, improving that shortly. All right, flint in, glass done. Okay, so I'm gonna turn that off and I'm gonna turn that off and I'm gonna put uh, my Certus in there. Okay, all of that to get some quartz glass. All right. Thanks. Okay, so I now need quartz fiber. Oops, that was the wrong recipe, that one. We've got that. So to make fluid stuff, so we just do this. We're gonna need a bunch of this anyway. 48, that's a good start. Uh, two engineering processes, which I already have because of me messing around with automating stuff. All right, ME drive, done. And now the ME controller, I need one more engineering. So I get to show you this in action now. I mean, we saw it before anyway, but um, I could put that away for the minute. So I just need a diamond, a redstone, oh, and a silicon. And all I do is I dump them in this box. They go off and do their thing. And you'll see the silicon and diamond briefly appear. Are we done? Ah, there it is. Okay, perfect. Now, was it this one that I needed some um, Skystone for? Yeah. I've got just enough Fluix left over, which is good. Uh, I had some Skystone somewhere. Where did I put it? There. And I think I need to cook it, right? We'll see. Yeah, I need to cook it. Skystone. I could have just sped that up. I just sort of spaced out there for a minute. All right, Emmy controller. That is the brains of the system. All done. Networking switchboard. All good stuff. So the next thing is going to be um, finding some Neverite. So I'm just going to demonstrate that for the end of this episode for the next 10 minutes. Are we night? Yeah, we may as well make it day. Just because... <clears throat> All 
Alrighty, uh, this way. Let's go. Uh, I need to. Uh, I want to have my food on point. Like that. Alright, and we're going to. Um, where are we at? 48. Okay. Let's go down a bit. Uh, we do not want to be in that biome. So we're going to go this way. Oh, look at that magma blocks. Beautiful. We can use them to make slime and blaze. Uh, we'll go this way a bit. Yeah. Oh, look at that. More magma blocks. What's that? Blackstone. Yeah, that's fine. Um, right, so let's get the scanner out. And we're going to see. Pew! Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Resonating nether ore. Need to hit that again. I think we need to go much deeper, Captain. Not really worried about getting back out of this hole. Let's try this again, shall we? Dimensional shard, bentonite, resonating never. I think I might need to get out of this biome, you know. Let me see if we can see anything in this warped forest. Nope, we keep going. This looks like a reasonably normal never, like a vanilla never biome up ahead, maybe. Gonna see. You see it just to the north on the mini map? And there's a gas spawn there, so that's a good sign. see what biome it is. Scythian torrids? I mean, I guess we can try. Shall we have a look? What exactly is resonating Neverall? Oh, yeah, it's that stuff. Okay. I guess not. Keep going. We don't seem to be voiding Neverak here at the moment either, which is kind of concerning.
And another thing I'm noticing is this is using a lot more power now than what it was before. So we might have to upgrade to the final tier of um, power upgrade for this. So it holds 10 million RF. Although I haven't seen any resonating all for a while. Yeah, it really doesn't seem to be spawning here, unfortunately. We're going to have to keep going. Question is going to be are we going to run out of power before we get anywhere? Wow, this biome is never ending <clears throat> hmm maybe if I go oh wrong button Maybe if I go out underneath the lava, maybe that will help. Let's see. Go this way. Is this still the same biome? Unfortunately, it is. And it definitely isn't spawning in this biome. I haven't seen a single piece. Ah, that actually sucks. Let's go. I'm gonna keep going north just in case. But I think we're going to run out of power before we hit. Blacklist. Had it the wrong way around. Need to blacklist it, not... There we go, and now it's... Not giving me any more Neverack. Oh my god. Well, Fortune Mining Flint definitely gives you a lot of flint. Uh, Fortune Mining Gravel definitely gives you a lot of flint.
Look at it. That's insane. Oh, and that's a lot of lava. All right, bro. Calm down. Hmm. Hmm. Lint. All right, well. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to find what I'm looking for right now, and I'll probably start my next episode with finding what I'm looking for. But um, it ain't going to be here. So that is the end of episode 11. I got my quality of life stuff done that I wanted to do. We'll move on to applied the logistics when I find some neverite. So until next time, take care.